Hi there, Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I wanna share some of my vintage finds with you today. All of them came from one sale in a town-wide garage sale that was about an hour south of here. It was not advertised correctly because there were only eight homes participating. But thank goodness for this one sale where many of the items were actually priced at five cents. Crazy, I know. You're gonna see a lot of china and glassware, two items that I usually recommend that you don't buy because the market for them is generally not great. But with things priced at five cents, I couldn't resist on many of them. And so I tried to pick wisely, and I'll tell you why as I show you each of the items. So I got a number of pieces of ironstone. For example, this little jug which actually cost 10 cents. It's not marked and it has some uh, condition issues. I'm working on it. Um, you can leave ironstone that has crazing, brown crazing or brown spots out in the sun sprayed with peroxide and I tell you it works sometimes like magic. So I'll be doing that with this piece. Um, I will price this at probably 12 to $15. I'm not sure that I would call this ironstone. It's not very heavy, but it is beautiful and would look really nice in anyone's ironstone cupboard. It is also unmarked, has a lot of crazing on it. I'm going to leave it out in the sun. Um, I priced this in the $15 range. These little shallow dishes are actually, um, I, I believe they're called relish dishes. Um, this one has some leaves up here, a little embossing down on the bottom. It is not marked. Um, I will not put this out in the sun because this, this all over brown crazing, some people really love that. I, I really like it. I would price this in the probably $20 range, 18 to $20. Nice mug, uh, you don't see a lot of these. This one is marked Burgess. It's an interesting mark for an English company that I haven't, I haven't seen this mark often. I think this is an older piece, meaning the 1800s, and I will price it at about $15. And here's its little little sister. I just thought that was darling. Um, I will be keeping this for a while, but I would price it at $12, $12, 12 around 12 This bowl is a newer piece by an, an, another English company, TG Green. They've been around for a while. But this is, like I said, I would call this restaurant wear. Um, it has a creamy color rather than a, a, the bluish tinge that you would expect to find on older ironstone, but it's in really good shape. I thought it was neat. It was 50 cents and I will price this about $15. And this little guy is ironstone also, but with some decoration, and it's by TR Boot. I loved this mark. Can you see that? It's a ship. It's not a great mark. This is from the 1800s, and I will price that at about $12 or $15. Darling little pitcher. I have a miniature pitcher collection. I would price this at about $10, $10 or $12. Just super cute. Got a lot of creamers. This one I picked up because of the pine cones. Adirondack Girl at Heart. Unmarked restaurant wear, $12. This is a, a piece of American ironstone. On the lighter side, on the creamier color by Homer Laughlin, a um, 
they made um, Fiesta Wear. They make Fiesta Wear. And I will price that at $12. If you didn't believe me about the five cents, there's one, a tag I didn't remove yet. <laughs> Little um, egg cup marked Germany on the bottom, $8. Another piece by Homer Laughlin for five cents. I just couldn't, even though it's chipped I just oh it's just charming isn't it charming <laughs> Mark Tomer Laughlin this pattern is called Hudson there's the mark for Homer Laughlin <clears throat> this was 50 cents not great shape with some browning um, some little nicks on the inside here and on the cover. Otherwise not in terrible shape. Just, oh, just loved it even with all that brown. And it is, I think it's American. There's no maker name. Oh, there's my answering machine. Oh my gosh. Um, the pattern is called Fancy Flower. And it is fancy and and it does have flowers on it 50 cents for that I picked up three shades I have never bought these before but I do think people buy them for replacement I suspect they will went through a fire um, I'm gonna work at getting some of the the black smudging off they were 25 cents each and then I picked up a pink one also 25 cents two pieces of milk glass a little um button and daisy hat also five cents <laughs> um i think these were originally intended for cigarettes to hold cigarettes people use them now for toothpicks or plants i picked up this piece because i like to use i like to put flowers in milk glass I like to, when I give the flowers away, have a cheap vase, but a pretty vase that I can give them away in. Also five cents. Two little Crocs, both I believe are marmalade. These were 25 cents. Um, this one is marked Liverpool, England, so both marmalade, I think. I use these to hold pencils and other paint brushes and things like that in my workroom. I I love them. Another ceramic piece. This was two dollars. It is in really perfect shape. It's um I'm not sure what you would you call that a ewer, e w e r. It's um like a Rockingham kind of a finish. Uh. Yeah, very cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on that. I'm going to, I'm thinking like $60, $50 or $60. i will have to do some research on that and get back to you. Darling Little Baby Bowl with bunnies on it, marked Germany on the bottom. It's, it's very blurry. Hard to read. Super cute. Uh, $15, 15 to $20 on that piece. A, just a little, little cute little mug with gold gilt and hand painted gold gilt leaves and these blue flowers also hand painted, not marked on the bottom, five cents. I will probably price that at $5. a flashed on um, cranberry glass with the etching. Actually, I'm not sure that, I think it is cranberry, oh no, I think it's flashed on because you can see it's clear on the bottom and obviously clear where it's etched. Um, sweet little rose bowl-ish vase, <laughs> um, five cents. I will put $10 on that. 
my gosh, picked up four little cobalt Vix rub jars. They were a nickel each. Sweet little pitcher with etching on the side and a metal handle. That was five cents. Um, worth about ten dollars two made in japan bisque figurines worth about ten dollars each marked made in japan on the bottom this one is made to look like he was chiseled or carved out of wood i've never seen that i think that's super interesting two little donkey carts i think that they are toothpick holders um, they could be large salt sellers. Anybody who knows, go ahead, leave me a comment. Those are cute. They were five cents each. Might have even been five cents for the pair. I'm guessing 12 to 15 dollars, especially if they're toothpicks. Little Scotty dog. I think he's a creamer. He could be a candy container. He would have had maybe cardboard over him, but um, this looks like a spout to me. I would price him in the $15 range. A little pink heart trinket dish. Got five cents. I will probably put $5 on that. A metal, is that a, uh, what do they call those dogs? starts with an F. A foo-foo dog, a Fuji dog. I can't think of what it is. I want to call it a salt cellar, but it's metal on the inside and salt would not really do anything. It may have had a glass insert to put the salt in. Five cents, so, um, and a mark on the bottom that I have to research. I'm going to say $12 on that. An aqua bottle, five cents. I sell these in sets of three for about $15. A green toothpick holder. I've mentioned before, toothpick holders sell really well for me. They're a nice small collectible. Um, I will price this one probably at $12. It has a little gold gilt around the top there. Picked up three Majelica plates. Majelica is a, has a raised design with these really bright colors. This piece says, or is it incised, made in France on the back. Very pretty, the roses on white. This piece is marked V and B, which I think is Villeroy and Bosch, a, an English company. Isn't that pretty? I want to research these. Um, if they are in fact older, which I think they are, they could be worth $30 or $40. Um, like I said, I'm going to need to research them a little bit more. This last piece is um, marked Czechoslovakia. This combination of aqua and red is really common in Majelica, Majelica plates. I picked up two transfer wear plates, not super valuable, but I'm going to do a blog post on transfer wear. So this is an extremely common pattern called Fair Winds by um, Meekin, a Staffordshire pottery. This dates to about the 1960s. And then this piece is a Courier and Ives print by Churchill. I think this was made as a grocery store premium. You spent so much you could buy a plate or different pieces throughout the course of the, the special deal. This is from about the 1990s, I think. Again, nothing super special. These two plates, I'm not even sure. Probably $4 is about what I would sell them for. A tiny little something. I mustard maybe. Look at that little. That's a little teeny tiny plastic um, spoon that fits right in there. Little brass lid. 
it says, be happy. Be happy. Isn't that darling? I will probably price that at 10, 10 or $12. And I think that I have shown you everything that I picked up from that one yard sale. A couple bigger items I might attach to the end of this video, but thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed seeing my vintage finds. And as always, happy hunting. Mm -hmm.